Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Bible Illustrated Hands. Today's second question uh, comes from DJ NV. Uh, he or she asks, uh, can a spiritual father or mother uh, uh, not be a priest or a nun? Can he or she be a very godly layperson? Of course, I'm assuming, like you said, that you that you would be confessing to your priest. Thank you for your question, DJ NV. Um, you know, um, I'm sort of afraid to answer this question because uh, there's definitely not a recent, uh, uh, not a recent uh, uh, example of such a thing, uh, because you know. Uh, Orthodox Church, uh, I'll say this bluntly, isn't very lay lay people friendly. You know, lay people practically never get to, be, to become saints un, uh, unless they're martyred or um, or uh, um, unless they enter a monastery. So um, I can't remember a single example of a lay person being a spiritual father or spiritual mother to somebody. You know, uh, now technically, I suppose that that would be a possibility. Uh, however, uh, there is at least one instance where I think that a lay person should never, never, you know, give uh, give uh, personal advice, and that is, for example, the frequency of communion. I myself share my opinion on how often uh, Christians should take communion. However. That is simply an opinion, and I would I would hate if somebody actually used that opinion in order to tailor the, uh, their own personal spiritual lives. You know, so uh, as a layperson, I don't think I can ever say to somebody, "Oh, take communion as often as possible, or take it uh, once a year, four times a year, during every fast, and so on." So you know. Um, it is generally seen that priests have a special gift uh, of the Holy Spirit to, you know, uh, take care of souls. Something that lay people, you know, might have, but in all probability won't and don't. And there is also one very special element to this, and that is that priests are usually experienced. Uh, they they are trained to deal with certain sorts of issues. And uh, they usually, usually, not always, of course, uh, have a lot of experience with dealing with people because that is what they do on a daily basis. A godly lay person, uh, you know, probably won't have such experience. Maybe they do, but in general, you know, they they don't. So, that's just my opinion. Um of course, you can ask for prayers of a lay person to ask for some advice. And of course, if you find a particular uh, lay person, especially, you know, holy, wise, prudent, whatever, what have you, uh, it is all natural that you will seek that person's advice, you know. But uh, in general, I think that priests should be our go-to source, especially for some difficult questions and especially uh, the ones that pertain to our life in Christ as regards uh, especially to sacraments. I hope I was of some use to you. Bye!